This anxious canine huddled in a corner. Steadfastly avoiding any interaction with both humans. And other shelter dogs. The shelter's personnel expressed deep concern for the. Despondent animal. Their apprehensions persisted until a veterinarian intervened. Performing an act that would move you to tears. As the days passed. The staff at the animal shelter grew increasingly troubled. By this particular dog's behavior. It consistently occupied a solitary corner. Exhibiting signs of fear and discomfort. The distress in the dog's melancholic black eyes was unmistakable. This pattern continued for several days. With the dog remaining in that quiet corner and declining. To engage in play like the other dogs. However, there was a reason behind the dog's profound fear. One chilly morning, a member of the animal shelter team stumbled upon the dog while on his way to work. The dog was concealed beneath a parked car. Recognizing the dog's need for assistance, the man spoke to it in a gentle and compassionate manner, urging it to come out. Nevertheless, the pup merely averted its gaze, sensing the dog's fear and discomfort. The staff member lowered himself to the dog's level, and assured it that he was there to help. Still, the dog remained unresponsive. Undeterred. The man recognized that the dog was in dire need of his aid and couldn't leave the terrified canine beneath the car. He carefully coaxed the dog out of its hiding place. The exhausted and hungry animal, seemingly lacking the strength to resist, kept its head down as the man placed it gently on the front seat of his car. Yet, the dog did not seem at ease sitting beside the man. It appeared to dread close human contact. Swiftly, it moved to the back seat, opting to sit on the floor in a way that would conceal it from the man's view. Upon arrival at the shelter, the dog sought refuge in a corner, where it began whimpering. The staff attempted various activities to engage the dog, offering toys and even trying to initiate a game of catch. However, despite their endeavors to uplift the dog's spirits, it displayed no interest. Based on the dog's lack of responsiveness, the staff surmised that it had likely endured a severely traumatic past. Several days had elapsed since the dog's rescue and transfer to the shelter. Yet he displayed no signs of improvement. Then, one day, the dog fell ill as he had contracted an infection. The shelter staff promptly administered treatment, hoping it would alleviate his suffering. However, as time passed, it became increasingly evident that the dog's condition was deteriorating. His weight rapidly diminished. And his distress was palpable. The staff grew concerned that the dog's survival was in jeopardy. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, they decided to take the lonely four-legged companion to a veterinary clinic where he could receive the specialized care he required. Upon entering the examination room at the animal clinic, the dog's fear was unmistakable. He hurriedly sought refuge in a corner, his eyes reflecting intense anxiety. Dr. Thomas, the attending veterinarian, entered the room to assess the dog's condition. The dog responded by tucking his tail between his legs and retreating while whimpering. It was evident to Dr. Thomas that the dog was enduring emotional suffering, likely stemming from mistreatment by previous owners, leading to his profound distrust of humans. Dr. Thomas understood that establishing a unique bond with this distressed animal was the pivotal first step toward his recovery. Thus, he began checking on the dog regularly and dedicating more time to simply talking to him. Over time, 
the dog's health showed slight improvement. Even though he remained averse to any form of human interaction, preferring to remain in his isolated corner. Nonetheless, the dog had made substantial progress, indicating that Dr. Thomas's approach was effective. On a particular day, Dr. Thomas held a bowl of treats in his hand and positioned himself a few meters away from the dog's corner. The veterinarian had a special plan in mind to encourage the dog to venture out of his hiding place and explore the world around him. By extending the bowl of treats as an invitation, Dr. Thomas hoped to kindle the dog's curiosity, allowing the dog to make the choice to come out. The vet exercised patience, understanding that this approach would help the dog regain a sense of control over his circumstances. The treat served as a small reward a delectable incentive to coax the dog into taking that crucial first step. As the dog cautiously peered from his corner, the tantalizing aroma of the treats piqued his curiosity. Maybe, he pondered. It wasn't as daunting out there as he had imagined. With a mixture of trepidation and curiosity, the dog began to venture out taking slow and tentative steps toward the veterinarian and the bowl of treats. Dr. Thomas initiated a gentle conversation with the dog. The dog indulged in a few treats but promptly scurried back to his hiding place. Dr. Thomas remained undeterred understanding that it would take time for the dog to conquer his fears and doubts. In the meantime, Dr. Thomas managed to locate the dog's previous owner. It came to light that the owner had passed away recently, leaving the pup in the care of some of the owner's family, members who had moved into the house. Unfortunately, these family members had subjected the dog to cruelty, confining him in a cage and depriving him of sustenance for extended periods. They despised the fact that the dog had become withdrawn and less playful after his owner's demise. He would wander into his owner's room and disrupt the surroundings, appearing restless as if searching for someone, likely his departed owner. However, the family members showed little empathy or effort to comprehend the dog's needs. Their primary concern was that the dog did not conform to their expectations. One day, in a cruel act, they took the dog outdoors and abandoned him there. Now that Dr. Thomas had unraveled the dog's tragic history through the reluctant revelations of the family members, he resolved to employ a different approach to heal the dog's troubled psyche. On that particular day, Dr. Thomas entered the dog's room and approached him with a gentle and empathetic demeanor. The dog had grown accustomed to the veterinarian's presence and scent, allowing him to feel somewhat comfortable around the caring vet. What Dr. Thomas did next is truly heartwarming. The veterinarian tenderly lowered himself to the floor in front of the dog. As he settled on the ground, he began to sing a soothing and emotionally resonant song. The melody filled the room, fostering an atmosphere of tranquility and solace. Remarkably, the impact was immediate. The dog, who had been secluding himself in the corner, gradually began to emerge from his hiding spot demonstrating a glimmer of hope and trust. The dog made his way to sit beside the vet, a soft sigh escaping his mouth as he gently wagged his tail. For once, the dog's once sad eyes flickered with joy, recognizing that the dog needed more than just a song. The vet stood up and embraced the shivering dog. The hug exuded comfort and reassurance granting the dog a sense of safety that had eluded him for a considerable time. The bond that flourished between the vet and the dog astonished everyone at the clinic. 
the transformation was remarkable. And with Dr. Thomas's assistance, the formerly timid dog gradually transformed into a very playful and sociable companion, engaging with other animals at the clinic. Before long, the vet realized that he had forged a profound connection with the dog. He couldn't bear the idea of the dog returning to the shelter, especially after all the progress they had made together. As a result, he made the heartfelt decision to adopt the dog. This way, they could continue their journey of healing and companionship together, ensuring that the dog would never have to endure the uncertainty of returning to his emotional trauma. This beautiful act of compassion by the vet demonstrates the immense capacity for empathy and kindness that humans can show to animals in need. It's heartwarming to see the positive impact of their connection and the transformation of the once sad dog into a joyful and trusting companion. Such stories remind us of the potential for positive change through acts of kindness and compassion towards animals. Every day, the dog takes the bus alone. It lies alone on the bus and stares at the passengers. Coming and going. People are very surprised by the dog's behavior. Until they understand the truth of the matter. Everyone is moved to tears by the dog. What happened? Why does this dog take the bus alone every day? Everything in the world has spirits. And animals also have feelings. Although we can't understand their language. Their actions give us a new understanding of animals. As we all know. Dogs are good friends of human beings. And they have gradually become a part of many people's lives. We often see many warm stories between owners and dogs. These stories not only move us. But also let everyone know the loyalty of dogs today. Let's look at a very warm story that happened to dogs. The story takes place in an area of England where it is common for owners and dogs to ride on buses and other public transport. There is no need to put up a notice allowing dogs to get on the bus because people have already acquiesced in this rule. However, a rare thing happened on a bus driving here. There is a dog who doesn't ride with his owner that he rides a bus alone every day. After getting on the bus, the dog seems to be very sensible that he knows that some humans are afraid of dogs. So he keeps his distance consciously. However, during this period, he keeps looking at all the passengers, which attracts many people's surprise and curiosity. On this day, the dog got on the bus from the bus stop as usual. And a new passenger on the bus was startled by the dog. The dog wore a red collar with a golden sash around his neck. But there was no owner around him. The driver seemed to be used to the lonely dog. And closed the door with good advice and went. On to the next stop. When the dog patrolled the passengers on the bus. He would find the open space near the back door and lie down. Then the passengers poured him some water to drink. And the dog finished drinking the water in three or two times. Every time you stop at a stop. The dog will stare at the passengers nervously. As the passengers get off the bus one by one. They all say goodbye to the clever dog. After the dog looks at fewer and fewer passengers. It begins to feel uneasy. Dogs once wanted to get off the bus halfway. But because the bus stop is the main road and traffic is frequent. Passengers think it will be dangerous if the dog is pulled away. So they ask the dog to stay at the bus stop first. The poor dog took the bus for about 20 minutes and then got off with a passenger at a highway entrance and exit. People wondered that maybe the dog always took the bus with his owner and knew he had to get off here. The driver will explain to passengers every time. 
that the dog last saw his owner on this bus. And he will take this bus every day to find his owner. One of the passengers. Jay, was impressed by the lonely appearance of the dog sitting in the front seat and took a photo and posted it on his social media because he felt that if the submission could be seen by the owner he could see the dog again the passengers posts on social media spread and the media interviewed them when they got to the bus they found that the dog had been sitting quietly with a sad look on his face every time a new passenger came up he would smell it probably hoping to see his owner again despite a growing number of calls on social media the dog's owner did not show up after that the dog was adopted by the staff of the animal rescue center they named him hardy and they wanted to confirm whether the owner of the dog was still alive however because there was no news of the owner the dog had to be transferred to a nearby shelter the staff began to find a new owner for him they all hoped to find a family that really needed him for hardy so they carefully screened these applications this matter has been widely spread not only on social media but also on the news Many people have asked the shelter to adopt Hardy. Many people speculate that Hardy may have been abandoned by his original owner, or his owner may have left the world because of illness or accident. But more people sincerely hope that Hardy will meet a new owner and get happiness in the future. Perhaps true love is not just like, or wait. This kind of feeling is even more precious between animals and human beings. Human feelings are sincere. And animal feelings are never mixed with half falsehood. Which is worth thinking about whether we treat small animals as true love. And most of the time, the feelings between people are conveyed by words. While most animals rely on actions and their own behaviors to convey their feelings. This kind of behavior is often more touching. Here is an equally warm and touching story. I wonder if you have never seen a cat who can take a bus. In Britain, there is a very persistent cat. He gets on the bus at about 10 o'clock every day. The driver is very familiar with him and doesn't stop him from getting on the bus because he is very good and never makes trouble. Sometimes the driver comes early and waits for the cat specially after getting on the bus. The cat will sit quietly by the window. The whole journey of the bus is 17.5 kilometers. It will get off at the end every time. And then take the bus back in the evening. So as to live on time like office workers. The cat has lived on time for five years. During these five years, it can't take this bus every day. Many new passengers are surprised by the cat's behavior because they have never seen their own cat on the bus. At this time, the kind driver will tell them the cat's story. And people who have heard the cat's story are all moved by its loyal spirit. It turns out that this cat is called Casper. Five years ago, it lost with its owner. The owner used to take the number three bus with the cat. The clever Casper remembered the bus route only once. The last time he met in Casper's memory was when he took this bus with his owner. Casper probably thought that by taking the bus repeatedly or going to the terminal, he could bring his master back to his side. The driver is very distressed by this sensible kitten. And the familiar passengers like it very much and they often feed it. When he sits in the car, he looks around from time to time, as if afraid of missing the familiar face. After getting off the bus, its figure disappeared from people's sight, and at night, it would board the bus again. 
Now Casper is 13 years old. Which is equivalent to 70 years old of human beings. He is inflexible in walking and has a poor memory. When he is old. He sometimes forgets where to get off. But he never gives up taking the bus every morning. Sometimes the cat even forgets where to get off. The kind driver will remind him that the passengers are waiting for him patiently. People in the neighborhood gradually got to know this loyal kitten. And after hearing its story, they were moved by its behavior. Feelings of small animals are always clean and pure. And a cat's life is really short. But it is only a few decades. The cat in the story spent five years commuting to and from the bus every day, just to let the owner come back to him. I believe many people will think that in real life, people may not be able to achieve this level. They foolishly insist on waiting for their master's behavior. This most sincere feeling makes countless people extremely moved. Okay, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to likes and comments. If you like them, we will continue to bring you more touching stories about animals. So I'll see you next time.